Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. I'm once again here on Ark, this time around still on Genesis 2. And I think today I'm going to reactivate my water base. Now I do have a water base, uh, and when I say reactivate, it just basically means that the generator there has run out of power. So that means I have to get that up and running uh, so that we can use the teleporter pad there and of course i need to build it up so i'm not really happy with what it looked like when i last left it off it was a bit um well let's just put it this way i didn't like the way it came out so basically i think that is the plan for the day we get that set up just to a state where of course we can use it and i'm happy with of course i'll try and use the uh, room to its maximum efficiency and I think over the next couple of uh, episodes we will be building up the water breeding pen as well just in case we know we know we want to do some breeding of some water creatures as well at some point in the future let's pick this up I accidentally well never mind I yeah I don't know why I right clicked and ended up destroying that at least I got the materials back and at least I didn't waste anything to craft it because I got those out of drops that kind of sucks <laughs> That really sucks. Unfortunately, I have loads of them, so uh, we'll just put the stuff in here. We've got, as you can see, loads of missiles, and I think maybe later today um, I might go with the mech around the um, Rockwell Garden Eden. Uh, Rockwell Garden Biome. Jesus Christ, that was a hard word. Okay, we are lagging out. Um, this could probably be because the map is absolutely huge, or we could be crashing which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, anyways, the idea is I'm going to go and grab some stuff back at the main base. Then we take out our main shadow main because it is a water creature. And we go back to the base. Hopefully we don't bump into any nasty jellyfish because that will really complicate my life. And uh, then we start setting up the base. I might have to demolish lots of it, but it is what it is. Uh, and I think I'm going to be using the Castles Keeps and Forts mod just because of how the pieces actually snap onto the environment all right i am ready to go and so there is my shadow mage right there we'll take him um i have kind of stuck with the name carnage it does look like a carnage to me so of course that is a reference to spider-man i do like carnage as a character and he has that red and black sort of thing going on for him i think we're going to exit out the back I can open these. No, we're having problems with the gates. And I guess this is one of those rare occasions where we get to see the end, or the back end of the castle, so, so to speak, I guess. We still have to fiddle about with the top. There's a lot of building to do, so uh, I totally misjudged that. Now, can we land in the water in the deep end? Yep, yep, that's where we're going. That's fine. And as you can see, we do not have an oxygen bar. We do get a buff when we are in the water. So that is pretty darn decent, if you do ask me. Now, I just need to go down here. And I totally misjudged that one. We don't really want to mess about with the piranhas. We don't have time for that. So we just have to swim down in a circle. Because whilst it does do water, it doesn't do it very great. So let's try and... Uh, get down here we do lag sometimes we are going into i guess a different environment maybe that counts for something i don't know anyway let's keep an eye out for them pesky jellyfish i don't see anything i see loads of things but i don't really i don't know i don't want to sit in one place for too much because as you saw right there we have some moogladons ready to nibble on us uh, whoop okay that's one megalodon more than i'd like to deal with especially with the potential possibility of jellyfish just around the corner so we don't really want to mess about with that okay jellyfish at the top so now i need to remember where that base was i know it's somewhere around here i just don't know where it is i know what it looks like oh there it is i can see it from a distance let's quickly swim over there avoid the jellyfish avoid all the bad things hopefully we don't get bit or nibbled this could end really bad for me because we do get dismounted, and unfortunately, I don't really think the AI for the Shadow Man knows how to react underwater, so it does really suck. And we go up here, hopefully quick enough, before we get nibbled on any, uh, by anything. There we go. I'm a bit stressed right now. Yeah, and, and, nope. Come on, up you go. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> 
I don't know if there was anything behind me. So as you can see, it is a bit dark. I do apologize, but this is the actual lighting. So first things first, we need to rebuild this whole structure here. Maybe if I use the um, Castles, Keeps and Forts mod, we can then rebuild this whole structure here. I do want to keep the greenery in this environment, to be fairly honest. I don't want to destroy it, because I think it does add to the texture. We do need, of course, to build it up so that we have a nice base so yeah i think the way forward for me will be the castles keeps and forts mod of course we'll have to sort the lighting out we do have some lighting but it ain't that great as you can clearly see so yeah i'll see you guys in a bit all right we are setting up the first pieces if i can get that there perfect I have had to gamma up, so that's why it looks a bit brighter. But that's fine, because we won't be on this for too long. Um, I'm hoping, at least. So, the idea is, of course, we're going to set up our own little tech lights in here. So, that is going to brighten up the place and make it nice and pretty. And, of course, I need to have a look at setting up some vaults here. So, I can actually pick up all of the metal pieces, uh, which I'm probably going to keep as backup anyway. So... My thought was, if I put down some vaults here, so we're going to put down a first row of vaults where we can store all our garbo. So we're going to put all the stuff that we pick up that we don't need or we may potentially need at a later date. So I think if I put this here, like so, and then we move this way. Nope. All right, so the back structure of this building itself is impacting on me trying to make a straight line of these vaults and that is affecting my OCD we cannot do that that's not good all right then let's do it on this end so attempt number two and that'll do oh too close that'll be just fine I'm trying to get it so that it is just perfect there we go we can add another one look at that straight line a beautiful straight line love straight lines there we go. So now we have a starting point time to change this place around a bit. All right. Um, so obviously I've uh, cleared up everything. I have all the pieces that I want to place down. So I want to place down the teleporter pad to start off with. This will allow me to teleport between locations. And uh, I think this is where I want to put it. So I have had to destroy some trees, which is sad. You know, I guess we are going to suffer on the oxygen level. We don't want to take out too many trees. Let's put this down here. And... Nope. Okay, that's not working. I don't understand why. There's plenty of space there. So what's wrong? Come on. Honestly, this would be the best place to keep it. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I destroyed those trees for nothing. I suppose I can use this for something. This area... Oh, I fell. Whoopsies. Okay. See, this gives me an idea. So it is small enough, or should have enough space for me to place it down. But for some odd reason, it's not letting me do it. Ooh, this is frustrating. Darn it. Right, I'm going to have to rethink this. Uh, <laughs> it's not coming out the way I wanted it. Okay, well, I've had to go back to the old initial design. We have to make a nice ramp up here but at least if i do it this way we can do something a bit more aesthetic than what we had before unfortunately it did not work out the way i wanted it and i ended up destroying some trees so i guess that portion right there that you're looking at um we'll have to find some usage for it but i, I suppose it's fine because we have enough flat surface to work with so we can definitely build it up into something interesting maybe a little office i don't know just just thinking of ideas. But this is a way up to the um, teleporting platform pan thing. I don't even know what to call this. But yeah, we have access to it. Um, we have managed to get away without killing the um, plant underneath. So that is kind of good. I'm happy with that. As you can see, I've managed to sink the foundations in deep enough. So if you look at this, the teleportation pad, teleporter pad is right there. But what I do like is how the foundations for the Castles, Keeps and Forts mod is sunk into the ground enough to the point where it does mix with the tech 
structure of the area that I built it up in. So it does look pretty darn decent. I'm happy with that. And uh, I guess it's time to move on to greater things or other things. I'm happy with this for now. I mean, if I change the gamma setting for this area, it goes right dark. So we are at gamma 4. I'm going to show you what it looks like with just normal gamma. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely dark. I don't like it. Uh, we do want to light up our... Uh, life so we're gonna put in some tech lights eventually and what I do like about tech lights is that you can actually stick them to pretty much anything so that's gonna look pretty darn decent I might have to move the um, generator about just because I think there's a re uh, an, an area here in the base that it does not reach but that is for another episode let's do something a bit more fun now okay so I've been doing a bit of thinking, trying to figure out what to do, how to finish this off, because it's taken me a long time to do that base there. So my thought was, I mean, I personally enjoyed using the mech last time, although uh, I did kind of do some risky stuff. So I think this time around, we're going to do some exploration of this. Hey, all right. You were doing stuff whilst I wasn't looking, weren't you? Anyways, um... My plan is to use this big guy over here and do some stuff around the Rockwell biome. And I think we're going to go and kill stuff, generally speaking. Maybe get into some shenanigans. And I've just realized it still has damage that it's taken from the last time we used it. We haven't actually repaired it. I think we should be fine as long as we don't get into a fight with the Giga. That's what we can avoid. I know where the Giga spawn. And so... Yeah, I think if we go and kill some stuff, have a bit of fun, just murdering things. I don't really want to tame anything, so, you know, everything that we come across, we will definitely kill. Maybe get some group kills, I don't know. See, right now, I am struggling to open the gate from inside the mech. So, we have to come out, get in the mech, then obviously get out the mech, shut the gates, and then we're free to do whatever the heck we want, which is what I'm planning to do. <laughs> Right, where am I going? Honestly, guys, I do not have a plan for this. Didn't really think it through. I just thought I'm going to come here and play around and maybe do some exploring and experimenting. Actually, I want to see how viable it is to use a mech in this environment. Um, so I think we're going to go and do some proper exploring with the mech. And why not kill some stuff with it as well? So as you can see, we are snagging on to pretty much every single thing, which kind of sucks. I don't know why I said it that way, but hey ho, it has happened. It's just the way it came out. All right, well, there you go, pew pew, down you go. Anyways, um, okay, let's go into this side of the biome and see how we actually manage. Because remember, this one is very cliffy, very lots of edges and stuff. That we have to navigate whereas the other biome the eden biome is actually fairly flat i would dare to call it this one's basically kind of like canyony very much similar to a canyon so this is going to be interesting let's see if we can manage this and again we get stuck yay so it's not as bad as i thought it is a bit derpy but the good thing is that we can move about and uh, we can actually fly jump from cliff to cliff so it's not really that bad I did eventually fall off but we didn't take any damage and as you can see right now I have some shadow main problems and a couple of other things that are on me I don't really know what's hitting me apart from the shadow mains and of course shadow mains do have that natural armor which is not fun go away okay we killed a leech Oh yeah, I forgot about those. <laughs> Whoops. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if we end up with um, leeches on us. Because, of course, we are in a robot, so they can't really leech anything off it. Um, we'll see how it turns out by the end of the episode. Maybe we get some leeches on us. And, uh, yeah, if we do get leeches on the mech, do they drain the health? Is the other question that I do have. This is probably something that the devs have not thought about. One of those uh, situations where things can be a bit iffy. Now, of course, whilst I'm doing this, as always, might as well loot some drops. And as you can see, it is a bit iffy to navigate. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the ground. 
but it's not that bad. Oh, I know. I've not used this yet. Let's use it. Okay, I forgot how to use it as well. <laughs> Ooh. Now that was pretty. Damn, that is really effective. Okay, I don't really see anything bad. Nope. Okay. So I am going to risk it. Hopefully we get something decent out of this drop right here. Just uh, taking another look, making sure nothing's going to creep up on me. Of course, we do have the Shadow Mains that can go invisible, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time out here. I feel a lot safer behind this uh, bunch of armored steel. I like to think it's armored, because why not? Let's see. Um, I have a vague idea of where I am. Obviously, I'm not flying, so I have to navigate the ground. Um, so I kind of have a very vague idea of where I am and where I want to go. Tell you what, it is a bit more challenging to do this on the ground, by the way. But I guess it's fun at the same time. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it, okay? Mm, okay, I see something in the distance right there. Some more Shadow Mains. Let's do that cannon on our back one more time, because it is fun. And... I, oh, I thought I was going to miss it, but we didn't. That was... Nice. I love that cannon. Okay, so I'm thinking of more or less kind of going back to base in a bit. Uh, I do want to fight off some more things. I want to try some stuff. Now, I am here at the top. So one thing that has been uh, bugging me, one question that I have is what happens if I jump from up here? Do I kill the mech? Does the mech take damage? Now, of course, we have to clear this area out because we tend to snag on absolutely every single thing on the ground. There you go. Have I sorted you out yet? I think that's it. Right. So, if you guys look over the edge, this is pretty high up. Uh, high enough to pretty much almost kill or kill just about anything if you do fall from this height, including your character. So, my thought is... What happens if I jump off the edge? Do I take damage? Does my mech take damage? Will I kill it? Will I destroy it? Bear in mind that we have taken some damage and it was already damaged when we got into it. Now, I want to jump off here, but I worry that I might potentially take damage. So I don't really know what to do. I'm, I mean, I don't want to destroy the mech. That's one thing, you know, but I still want to find out what happens. Uh, I can try and hover just above the um, ground just before we hit the ground we'll see if that does anything if not we'll have to quickly dismount and oh hey 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 now this is nice so I could have actually run off the edge made a big jump and just hovered pretty much to the other side alright here we are uh, there is another drop that I want to pick up Okay, this Spino wants a fight with me. I wasn't really keen on fighting you. I was more looking forward to looting that drop, you silly Spino. All right, it's now out of the way. I'm trying to find my way to that Spino. As you can see, we've now gone to pretty much everything. This is like one of these terrains that is the least flattest. So, um, yeah, Meg does have troubles with terrain that is not flat. I suppose, though, if we think about it, the Shadow Mains have a bit of problems as well. They kind of get stuck on pretty much everything, especially in this biome. So it isn't really all that fun trying to more or less navigate this area with the Shadow Mains. And you are closer to the ground, so you are likely or more likely to be dismounted. Ooh, this is quite deep. Ooh. Right, I want to loot that. Oh, hey, check this out. There's a leech. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to deal with the Capros. There's two of them. Right, let's... Uh, oh, that leech is kind of annoying. Can't really get a good gauge of where I'm firing because there's a freaking leech on my screen. I don't have the icon to tell me that I have actually a leech. So this could be the leech visual glitch that sometimes does happen. I hope that wasn't my mech that I hit. That would really suck. Um... All right, let's get in here. Oh, check it out. My mech has a leech on it. Now, the question is, am I taking damage? But that's what I want to find out. So, I did eventually get leeched. 
Did that work? Is that something that works? I don't know. It works to me, all right? Um, let's deal with you. I'm hitting things and I'm getting hit by things, or at least that's what it feels like. Anyways. Oh, that is so glitchy. <laughs> well, did not want that to happen. Do not want to be in the water. Um, obviously, bad things happen in the water, so definitely a no-no. Uh, we pick these up. Drop that. Now, I'm curious to see if I'm taking any damage from this leech on my screen. So let's quickly have a look at that. Nope. Okay, so I'm not affected by it. That is just a visual glitch. And uh, let's see what the mech says. Yeah, we seem to be healing. I think we're fine. We're being hit by other things, but yeah, that's fine. Well, that is pretty much it for this episode, folks. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe.